Okay, so now that I finished uh, LibreOffice, we're going to do MATLAB now. Now, I already have a screencast on MATLAB, so I'm not going to spend very much time on this. And I'm also going to do it in uh, Octave as well, um, just because I don't want to pull up MATLAB. Um, Octave will pretty much, since this is a simple program, it's pretty much going to do the uh, same thing. Um, so I'm going to make a function um, called um, nr.m, and then I'm going to say uh, function um, out, or I guess I'll do result. Uh, equals nr x zero, and so what this means is that the uh, function name is uh, nr, and the input is x zero, and the output is uh, is result. Okay, so just like uh, the LibreOffice, what we're going to do is we're going to make x iters. So we're going to make this vector um, that it starts at x zero. And then I'm going to create my, I'm actually, instead of doing a for loop with uh, fixed iterations, I'm actually going to do while loops. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure how to do while loops in um, LibreOffice, so, um, but I know how to do a MATLAB. So I'm going to do a while loop here. And basically what I want to do is I want to iterate, iterate until the absolute value of my error is less than uh, 1e minus 5. And uh, in order to do that, I need to get my error function. And so what's my error function? Well, my error function is the function I want to evaluate at um, x iters, in this case, just the first one. Um, so I need to make a function down here called um, out equals f of x, where out is, and here's our function, x minus 1 uh, squared. And then obviously, we need to make our uh, f prime function. Whoop. Come on, prime of x out equals two times x minus one. Okay, so now I have my function and my derivative function, and so now what I can do is I can just make my, uh, I can just loop through this over and over again. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm going to compute, compute the next iteration. So that's gonna be um, x next is uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to grab uh, grab current iteration. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say x current is x iters of end. And what that's going to do is this is going to grab um, the last element in the vector. And so x next is going to be x current minus f of x current divided by f prime of x current. And then what I want to do is I want to append x current to x iters. And this is a very, very bad way to program, but this is a very simple program, so I'm just going to do it anyway. So I'm going to take the current um, state uh, vector of x iters, and then I'm going to append to it x next. And so what that's going to do is this vector is going to grow every iteration. Um, and then finally, ooh, I didn't like that. Mm, every iterate. Nah, I did it anyway. Okay, whatever. Um, and then finally, what I need to do is reevaluate the error. So I'm going to say the error is f x iter. Actually, I'll just do x next like that. And so that way, every time the function comes through here, man, that's really annoying that it does that. Emacs. Mm. Let me pause this. Okay, I got it, sorry about that. Recompute uh, error using updated x. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it uh, print uh, x current, uh, just display like that. And what over, he over here in, uh, in oh geez, what did I just open? I'm gonna run nr of, I'm just gonna do 10, and so there you go, so it goes all the way down to 1.004. And so the good thing is with uh, MATLAB and Octave is you can just type in plot uh, x iters. And that's a built-in function. And there you go. You've got your plot. And you can label that and all that if you want. Um, so then we can do, you know, negative 5. And there you go. They all converge to 1. And so now you have uh, the function in MATLAB Octave um, that computes newton raphson Okay, so uh, moving on from here we are going to do uh, Mathematica. The reason why I wanted to do Mathematica is because MATLAB and Mathematica are really, they are designed for Mathematica computation. So here we go. Um, 